Okay, guys, on this presentation, we are going to see how the clamping cycle works. So this is the tool and we have the clamping unit to the right. And as you see, uh, it is important to leave a one millimeter gap as described on the procedure that I'm going to share uh, by email. So when the ATC position the a tool uh, in front of the uh, uh, clamping system. What you have to do is to measure or ensure that we have a one millimeter gap. And then the next step is gonna start the clamping unit to hold the, the tool. And as you see on the red area, these are the area where the pressure or the, the clamping force is applied. So if you measure that clamping force, it should be 70 kilonewtons. Uh, the range is uh, in between uh, 64 and uh, 86 kilonewtons. But the uh, mean on the middle is gonna be okay. So uh, this is uh, the clamping uh, unclamping cycle where the tool is released. This is going to show you the wrong positioning. We leave the um, we left a big gap here, more than one millimeter. So you see the area where the sets uh, um, these are the, let me change to the, these are the number three. And these number three are the set of segments. Okay, the set of segments are gonna hold in the border and you can either hold or re uh, or not uh, hold properly the tool. Let's see the next step. But for sure, you are going to damage the set of segments, leaving some uh, indentation like is shown here. And this is our run timing. Uh, where we start the um, clamping cycle before the tooling is in position. And this is uh, important as well, the alignment. So we need to take care of, of this, uh, this alignment as well, following the, the procedure that we have here. So on the, on the teams, you're gonna find the, um, the list of the, each part. So meaning that if you have only this uh, set of segment damage, damage, you can buy them by ordering the subcode that you have here. And sorry, this one. So should you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.